Hi everyone, I'm Sid Butt, uh, co-founder and CEO of Arky. I promise this won't be more than uh, 15 minutes. Um, I would actually prefer Q&A. Um, so Arky is uh, based in uh, Silicon Valley and uh, very happy to be here. Uh, first time in Israel. Uh, it's a beautiful country. Um, so today I'm going to talk about uh, Arky's uh, Encore platform, which is um, uh, a programmatic uh, creative and a media buying platform. So you heard from Google. Um, there's uh, inventory that Google is uh, building out, and there are other ad exchanges out there uh, like Mopub, Brightrail, uh, Brightroll, LiveRail, uh, for example. And uh, you must be, if you're a developer, is thinking to yourself, well, how do I get my ad onto this inventory? And uh, are there specialists out there that can help me optimize the media buying and the creative? So that's what we do. Um, our entire thesis uh, for programmatic buying is based on uh, some sort of KPI. Uh, we tend to focus on ROI uh, to the extent the developer is able to share um, uh, secondary postbacks, uh, so in-app uh, events. Uh, so post-install, if you're able to share uh, through your third-party tracker, uh, things like um, a purchase or um, level complete, um, any sort of uh, secondary actions, that can be posted back, we're able to optimize the media buying programmatically uh, towards um, better ROI. So uh, some of the metrics that uh, typically uh, come our way as uh, KPI requirements are um, things like a seven day ROI, um, it could be you know, 15%, 20% ROI. Um, what we do is we then optimize the media buying uh, to hit that number and exceed it um, we also provide estimates on uh, when you'll see 100% ROI. Um, could be 30 days for certain categories of apps, 30, 60, sometimes um, higher than that as well. So uh, we're, I want to say we're one of the few companies out there that uh, is merging creative optimization and programmatic media buying. Um, we feel like uh, creative is something that has been overlooked for quite some time. Um, you know, you put yourself in the user's shoe. If you see an ad that is not attractive, you're not going to click on it. Uh, but a ad that is very compelling, it tells a good story, um, you might engage with it. So our platform is a uh, HTML5 a rich media um, platform. It is available in self-serve. Uh, so the idea is you can go in there, you can select uh, from a number of templates, uh, or you can build uh, your own um, from scratch. It's like a canvas. You could throw um, video files onto it, you can add animation, sound, um, and uh, multivariates. So you can actually have a number of video files um, to let the system automatically identify which video file is best. So that's the creative uh, side of the platform. On the media side, um, we're plugged into all the major ad exchanges um, at a very deep level. Um, so we are uh, integrated in a way where we can do private marketplace deals very efficiently um, with uh, most of the major publishers um, that allow uh, private marketplace deals. Uh, this is a very uh, new concept in programmatic media buying. Uh, you may have heard of um, um, a term called Deal ID. Uh, it allows uh, you to negotiate um, preferred rates uh, with publishers and um, essentially um, get the benefit of um, real-time bidding uh, where you can, the system can skip on impressions, not buy impressions that are not interesting. At the same time, if there are impressions that are interesting, you're able to pay a fixed CPM for that. So um, our, uh, our system is, uh, is, is sort of unifying the creative optimization, which is um, iterating through a lot of different variants of the creative and tying that into the media buying. Um, so the algorithm essentially uh, merges the learnings from the creative optimization uh, into the learnings uh, on the media side. So let me get into some of the details uh, of that. Um, in this example, it's a, it's a very simplified example, 
um, you have a full screen interstitial uh, with, uh, let's just say, there's three components to it. There's a top banner, a uh, video, and a bottom banner. Um, the designer, the creative designer in this case, has chosen to um, have four variants uh, for the top banner. Uh, four videos and uh, four uh, variants for the bottom banner. So it's uh, 64 different combinations. And um, there's clear data and evidence that certain combinations work better than others. Um, sometimes our advertisers care about CTR. Um, obviously, you know, game developers will, will care more about CR and potentially ROI. Um, so there, there are certain combinations of creative that Ultimately, if you look down funnel, yield better ROI. So this is a, um, our platform allows you to build these type of ads very uh, effect efficiently. There's templates that you can select from. And um, there's also, um, we have an in-house creative team. So in the event that you want us to manage uh, all of this, uh, we'll build the, the creative for you. Now this is an HTML5 um, ad. Uh, it supports video, it supports autoplay video, it can be muted or non-muted, and um, it uh, runs in display inventory. So it's an interstitial uh, that shows up, let's say, between levels or uh, certain frequencies when publishers uh, allow an ad to be shown. These type of ads, uh, ads come up. And uh, we're seeing uh, um, sometimes upwards of 5x, uh, 10x improvement in just CTR, the base metric, because the creative is, uh, is well optimized. And on programmatic inventory, um, that's very important because the buying is happening on a CPM basis, and if you can't get people past the click, you know, you're essentially spending money buying the inventory on a CPM basis, but the user is not interacting with the ad. So uh, on the media optimization, um, we, um, I'll keep it very sort of high level. Um, obviously, when the bid request comes in, um, there are upwards of 30 parameters. Um, and we combine that with um, things like uh, time of day and um, installs and post install events um, to essentially build a user profile. So, um, the bid request usually includes uh, a lot of device parameters and publisher information. Um, so when a bid request comes in, you have the option to, to buy or um, decide how much you want to bid on that impression and, um, and or skip it, skip the bid request altogether. Um, typically you have 30 milliseconds to decide if you want to buy. Um, Interstitials US, uh, we're seeing upwards of $5 CPM uh, these days in terms of uh, win bids. Um, programmatic inventory is obviously available globally, um, which is a great thing. So developers looking for users in you know, smaller countries or, um, for example, Southeast Asia, uh, programmatic is a, is a great option. But most of the inventory is German countries, so um, this is a great option. Um, anyway, so we, we build the um, user profile based on um, things like the, uh, the publisher, um, device parameters, IO, the, the version of the OS, um, and we get a sense of, uh, you know, has a user clicked on any ads before? What sort of ads have they clicked on? The category of the ads. Um, what have they installed? What is their post-install activity? Um, and uh, when we see those users again and you know, we find similar type of users, we tend to, to bid very high because we think they will convert. So that's the, the media optimization. So the key here is we're combining the multivariate testing on the creative side with the media optimization and we're seeing very, very good results from the combination of the two. Um, in terms of um, uh, insights, uh, there's um, algorithms obviously, but there's also the human element. Uh, so we have specialists who continue to fine tune uh, campaigns, especially some of the larger budget um, advertisers uh, that work with us that uh, usually have very, very large sort of uncapped, uh, you know, they're in the top 50 grossing. Um, we do have a team internally that is always uh, fine tuning. 
Um, so the, the, the key here is um, you have uh, different options for getting users. Um, you know, I get asked the question a lot. You know, there's all these companies I can, you know, buy on um, uh, Facebook. I can buy on Google. Um, you know, why why should I buy on an ad exchange? Um, the the answer is that it's um, somewhat non-overlapping inventory, and if you're looking for more users outside of your existing channels like you know Facebook or uh, rewarded video, uh, this is a great uh, addition because it's actually getting you access to inventory that you're probably not uh, touching. Um, we, we, we are doing, uh, for certain type of advertisers, um, um, you know, just the, the whole full life cycle marketing, which includes um, you know, retargeting and, and reactivation. Um, this requires us to drive the install in the first place. Um, uh, to the extent we, we do that, we're able to retarget with uh, additional messages. Um, so inviting back, inviting the user back to play the game and uh, just re-engage. Um, so that's um, a lot easier to do on programmatic uh, than some of the other channels out there. So um, I mentioned this earlier, stronger ROI. Um, ultimately, this is about fine-tuning uh, the mechanisms and getting you to um, being on the ROI curve that gets you to 100% you know, recovery in as short a time as possible. Um, that's really it. Um, I actually want to see if you guys have questions and Just one uh, simple question regarding the uh, data sources. You were talking about uh, creating uh, optimization based on multiple information elements. Uh, do you get those information elements uh, from the uh, uh, media side or from the application side or both? What are the actual sources for that? Uh, so the question was um, how, how are we getting the data to, to decide if we want to bid and how much we want to bid? Um, so I want to just break it down into, um, so the bid request, when the impression is available to, to be filled with an ad, um, that bid request has a number of parameters uh, in it. Um, that is usually collected by the ad exchange SDK that's in the publisher app. Um, so that's one level, that's one dimension of, of data. Uh, then there's also things like geo and time of day, which is, you know, secondary. Um, the category of the publisher and the category of the advertisers are important determiners of, of you know, a match. Um, uh, but, but also the, um, the user um, interacting and ultimately doing, you know, IAP. So when, when I say user profiles, you know, we actually know that here's a set of users that are going to convert really well with hardcore. Uh, which is, um, you know, a niche category where, where you have very high uh, LTV but a smaller set of users. And um, um, we know that because uh, we have uh, post-install in-app purchase information and that helps us essentially profile that user as being very good for um, mid-core, hard-core categories of games. So. Um, Ultimately, it's a combination of uh, pre-install, bid request, and post-install activity, along with um, their behavior, clicking on certain type of ads, not clicking on other type of ads. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay, let's thank you. Thank you, thank you, Ron.